If you've ever held your breath and felt that sudden panic kick in, this might freak you out. Before we dive in, subscribe and comment if this kind of science blows your mind. Here's what's actually happening. When you hold your breath, oxygen isn't the real problem at first. It's carbon dioxide. As CO2 builds up in your blood, your brain starts getting angry. Not politely angry, full-on alarm mode. That burning feeling in your chest? That's your brain screaming, breathe now. Your diaphragm begins to spasm, your heart rate jumps, blood pressure rises, and if you keep holding, your brain will literally shut you down. You pass out, not to kill you, but to save you. Once you're unconscious, your body takes over and starts breathing again automatically. That's why most people can't hold their breath until they die. Your brain hits the emergency reset first. But here's the wild part. Trained freedivers can override this panic by slowly adapting their brain to higher CO2 levels. So now, you don't stop breathing because you run out of air. You stop because your brain can't stand the pressure. But here's the scary question. If your brain can knock you out to save you, why doesn't it always do that in water? Think about it. Comment what you think happens next.